Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds. And here with me today, I have one of these diamonds in the rough for you. His name is Brandon Gaddy. Uh, he's a defensive tackle out of Alabama State. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. Glad for you to have me. Yeah, so um, obviously a big guy there on the interior for the defensive uh, line that um, – uh, people should know, man. I mean, one of the um, one of the guys uh, in the HBCU circuit, um, one of the best at your position, I would I would imagine, actually, uh, in the HBCU. So, uh, let's go ahead and get things started, man. Um, tell me where you're from, and we'll just kind of move from there. Oh, uh, okay. I'm from Norfolk, Virginia. I went to uh, Bishop Sullivan Catholic High School. All right, and um, talk to me about your days there. Oh, uh, so it was a Catholic school. Uh, it was definitely challenging when I first got there because I was coming from public school, of course. But I feel like along with great people, I had a great uh, athletic director that kept us in the books, made it make sure we study. We had good coaches, you know, just stayed on top of us and got us right. I, I'm not going to sit here a lot. Private school was hard, but I think I thank God for the people that came in our life and helped us get through it and let us go to college, you know? Yeah, because... no doubt. <laughs> so, um, so Catholic school, I mean, obviously a little bit more strict. Um, at least that's the, uh, that's the vibe that a lot of people get when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, how do you feel like that molded you as a person and player? Uh, as a person and player, it definitely taught me like discipline. It, it definitely taught me discipline. It taught me like to slow down and just just actually like think everything through, you know, not just be temper headed, you know, just like just look everything in, you know. I think I I think private school is the best decision for me. Well, I'm private. Hey, man, if I had the mind to send my kid to private school, I would. I mean, let's just be real. So, um, but uh, yeah, so you went there. Um, actually, you and your brother. Um, I think a lot of people uh, know you guys because you've um, kind of been joined at the hip forever. And so when I talk about you guys, I mean, you guys are going to be on the same path for a little bit of this journey. So I know I'm interviewing you and not him. Um, but I mean, we'll, we'll get to talking about you guys as well. So um, as an athlete there um, for uh, that Catholic school in Norfolk, um, let's talk about, um, I don't know, obviously you played football while you were there. Um, did you play any other sports or anything? I played basketball. Yes, sir. I played basketball, uh, started on the basketball team. All right. Um, yeah. So you a big basketball fan still or what? Yes, actually, I was a, I was a hooper in high school. You know, I had a, I had like two Division ones like basketball offers. Yeah, I played AAU for Boo Williams. If if you went to the AAU, you you would know Boo Williams. That's a, that's a major organization. I played with them. You know, so I just felt like I had more scholarships in football than basketball. Right, right, right. Of course, of course. Um. <laughs> um I know. Um, I believe you're you're the D tackle. Your brother was the offensive lineman, right? Is that kind of how that worked out, or or, or did, As you, a, did you did you play both ways? Basically, is what I'm asking. Like in your high school days, this is gonna sound so crazy to you. Man. I was a three star quarterback in high school. That does not sound right. Are you are you just are you joking me for real? I was a three star quarterback in high school. I, I could pull it up. I had all these offers in, at quarterback. All right. So I never I never played defense to my senior year of high school. Never played defense to my – and I had no, like, no knowledge about defense until I got to Maryland. My brother was the always the one. He was the D tackle. He was the – he was ranked. He was, like, four-star, five-star D tackle. I was considered as an athlete coming out of high school. Mm. So – after. My first two years at public school, I played. I played quarterback. Then I went to private school. I still played quarterback. I played running back. I played tight end, and I played wide receiver. I was split out wide. I never played offensive line ever. So yeah, I, I mean, 
Well, I mean, obviously these days you don't look like a, a, a you know, that sort of a playmaker. <laughs> I should oh, cool. say that much. I mean, um, I mean, you're at about 315 right now. Of course, um, I gain weight. Of course, so, yeah, uh, sure. yeah, that's what happens, man. We get to college, we gain weight, you know, we get uh, in with some of these trainers and they make it work, man. I mean, they. Um, uh, I think D-line was a great fit for me. Well, uh, obviously, I mean, you've you've done a whole lot, you know, during your college days. So, um, but no, I got to ask, I mean, um, you know, since, you know, you do have experience in other sports, you chose the game of football to pursue. And so uh, why football? What do you love so much about this game? Uh, I like to, I like to compete. Man. It's just something that compete, it does something to me. Like, it just makes me like, 10 times better. It's just like, and in the game of football, the contact, you know, the the winning and, you know, of course I like to win, but you know, of course can't win every game. I love winning, you know? So the things I get out of football is just being around a team. I love my teammates, man. I get along with them well, you know, bond and everything. But then as far as the football part, I love it, you know, because it's best on best. It's either you got it or you don't. <laughs> You know, all right. Um, so um, out of high school, you ended up going to, to uh, University of Maryland. Yes, sir. and then after your time there at Maryland, you found your way to Alabama State, which is I, I I believe that's where you spent most of your time. So let's try our best to just kind of focus on our time there. Um, yeah. and, unless of course, um, I don't know. Let's just kind of go back to the Maryland thing. Let's just go okay. ahead and talk about it anyways. What do you feel like feel like you got the most out of your time there at Maryland? Maryland, I feel like, I feel like they definitely got me right far as getting your body right, getting in shape, weightlifting, football part. I I had a great D line coach my first my first couple of years at Maryland, and he taught me he taught me D line like in a year and a half span, and uh and I'm th- I'm thankful for him. You know, I still talk to him to this day. You know, and uh. I'm just so thankful that he helped me along the way to get where I am now, you know, you know? So, yeah. And and so um, you were only there for, for, I guess, a couple of years, right? So yeah, I was there for three, three years. Okay. Um, and then of course um, you uh, found your way to Alabama state, which Alabama state, I mean, obviously um, a very uh, well traditioned school. Um, so uh, talk to me about Alabama State, man. I mean, during your time there, um, what has made it uh, become home for you? Uh, Alabama State. So when I first got there, uh, Coach Ely, uh, Coach Donald Ely, uh, his son was actually my roommate at Maryland. Yeah, his son was actually my roommate at Maryland. And he's from Virginia, like like 25 minutes from Virginia. So, uh, so his son named Ace, Ace Ely. You know the linebacker that uh, from Georgia Tech, right? Uh, right. So yeah, okay. So so when we got in the portal, he was the he was the first one. Like before we even got in the portal, like he was the first one to like call us. You know, and uh, he had basically gave us his word that you know if you came to Alabama State, we was gonna take care of you. You know, grade wise, because me and my brother do have an IEP, you know, we had an IEP in, in college. And so one of our biggest things was grades, how we were going to get right in school, you know, get us right in school. So we got there, they got us right. You know, we did everything. We did everything. My brother, my brother ended up, he had diabetes. He caught diabetes at Maryland, but he got sick at Alabama state. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. So when he got there, I mean, my brother, he ain't played the whole time I was there. My brother ain't played the whole time I was here. So that, of course that, that made me feel a little. That hurts, man. Yeah, you know, because I've been playing 20, 23 years right beside him, you know, and he ain't played. Every year I was at Alabama State, he didn't touch the field with me. Mm. Like he didn't play not one. Like, so one. Uh, obviously you did play with your brother at one point or another. And, you know, I got to ask, I mean, uh, how is it playing with your brother alongside your brother? Again, we're talking Breon. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's lovely, man. I didn't play, I played basketball, football with him. You know, he's a big man in basketball. I'm like a guard. 
So it's like a, a combo, you know, he's setting the pick and rolls and all that stuff. So it's like, it's really fun <laughs> for us football. He on the defensive side, making all these sacks, tackles, all that. I'm over here scoring, you know, <laughs> I'm scoring. So it is, it was definitely a pleasure playing with playing playing alongside my brother. I wish in the future we can still do that, but in the future I think we'll be going we'll be going against each other in the future though. <laughs> right. Well we'll definitely see how that goes. I mean again you yourself, I mean you developed into a defensive tackle. Yeah. Um so as a defensive tackle, talk to me about your experience with that uh defense there at Alabama State. How would you describe your your role there? Okay, so my first my first year it was like uh a three four. The defense won't really know me. It well it wasn't ran out of the D line. It wasn't ran from the D line. It was like more so pressure, pressure and stuff like from the safeties, linebacker. It was a linebacker safety defense, you know. So far my first year, I won't really like I didn't really have the exposure as far as the D line, like as my job. I didn't have like they didn't put that much weight on me as a D line. They didn't put the weight on nobody as a D line because, I, as I told you, we ran three four, and we blitz a lot. <laughs> we blitz a lot. So, but we had got a new coordinator the next year, and uh, he had let he had let the defense run through me. <laughs> he let he let the defense run through me because I was uh. So I can play every position on the D-line. I learned that, too. I learned how to play the D-tackle, nose, in, all that stuff, too. So I am I was more so the guy, wherever we find a matchup, I would go on. I would, I would go. I would go on him. I would work him. It was it was everywhere, anywhere we could find a matchup, I would, on the D-line, on the old lineman, the weakest link, I was, I was with him, you know? So – as so my second and third year that's how the defense was and uh and it was it was beautiful like that <laughs> it was beautiful like that you know we we i think we had like the top ranked defense both years that year like i mean two- definitely a solid team let's just be real i mean you got a yeah. lot of you know great teammates alongside you there For um sure. but um what i was gonna uh ask you is um when again like you had mentioned, I mean, you do, you have shown some versatility playing along that defensive line. How do you see yourself projecting to the next level? You think you're um, probably going to be strictly like more of a nose or what? You know, I think I haven't, I haven't, I haven't found out yet, but well, I haven't found out yet but because I can, I can, I can gain weight and I can lose weight and I can play nose and I can play three tag. So it really just depends on the organization if they want me to play nose or if they want me to play three tech. I mean, if they want me to lose weight, I can lose weight. If they want me to uh I can lose weight, if they want me to lose weight, I can gain weight if they want me to gain weight. You know? So do you feel like it, it is that versatility that sets you apart from uh, other guys? I mean, what do you feel is like the best thing uh, you got going for you as a prospect? Oh, uh, I'm athletic. I got to, uh, you know, I think I fit the description as a prospect. I, I fit the description. If you watch the film, it's, it's in the film. I can I can play every position. I Me, I 100% believe I belong I belong you know I I know I can do that you know the biggest thing that set me apart from everybody else is I like to consider myself as a a freak of nature you know <laughs> I like to consider myself a freak of nature you know I can we can do everything as a D lineman supposed to I got all the tools that D lineman is supposed to have you know sure I mean I you got you got some big size to you you got some big mitts so yeah. that uh, definitely h- helps, you know, uh, you know obviously uh, control the guy in front of you and, you know, yeah. uh, try, and, try and get around him and cause some, you know, pressure in the backfield. So sure. um, anyhow, um, Brandon, you put together a pretty solid resume there at Alabama State. And then after your time there, um, you actually got invited to the HBCU Legacy Bowl. Yes, um, sir. So let's go ahead and talk about your time there. I mean... Um, obviously, HBCU Legacy Bowl uh, down in Louisiana. 
a, a lot of great, you know, led by a lot of great talented um, individuals. Um, how did that week go for you? All in all, to be honest, I think, I think I had a, a great week. You know, I think I definitely opened some people's eyes with uh, some people's eyes who got a closer, a closer look uh, on me and all that stuff. You know, I think I did some, some real good things, you know? Yeah. I think I did some real good things for sure. For sure. Sure. So, um, uh, you know, one of the things about going to an all-star event such as the legacy bowl is just, uh, you know, building relationships, you know, whether it be with, uh, the players, uh, the coaches, and then of course you have a chance to actually sit down with some, with some scouts. Um, did you get a chance to actually sit down with some scouts and do some interviews? Uh, yes, but I don't have the names. Uh, but I definitely did some interviews. I, I don't have the names of, of the people that I. Sure. But roundabout, like how many, uh, how many scouts you think that you talk to? Four or five. Four or five. Well, dude, that's solid. I mean, obviously uh, you got some interest from some people in the league, which is good. I mean, um, getting, get your name out there a little bit. So yeah. um, we obviously know with that being said, I mean, we do have ourselves a legitimate prospect um, who, you know, might be in the league next year, man. I mean, uh, or, or this upcoming season. Um, and so that being said, how are you taking that? Like, how are you approaching that? Because, I mean, you are so close to maybe even being in the NFL uh, amongst some guys that, like, you've been a fan of your whole life, man. I mean, how, how is that? Um, how, how are you processing that now? Man, it's, it's unreal. I don't know nobody in my family who went through this process. I don't have it. I don't know any friends that went through this process. It's just, this is all new to me. And it's, it's been a roller coaster. It's, I'm really just, it's really, if you, I'm really just paving the way for my brother, you know, since I'm the first one, I really just, just let him know what to expect on his or on his time when his time come you know so it's it's definitely been a roller coaster but i enjoy it every second of it you know i enjoy every second of it so with the possibility that you that you might be playing in this league all right i gotta ask i mean obviously as a defensive player um which one of them quarterbacks in the league that you do you really want to like get a sack on i mean um who, who you want to put on put on his back I ain't gonna lie. I, I need Lamar Jackson, you know, because I feel like I feel like he he athletic, and I feel like I'm athletic. I want to see who who the more athletic one gonna win. <laughs> well, he needs to find himself yeah, a team. Want... He needs to find himself a team right now. We don't even know, we don't know what's going on with that just yet. But um, uh, yeah. I mean, um, I, hey, I mean, obviously he's one of the more uh, you know gifted individuals. Very athletic. Yes, I mean, uh, hard to you know hard to get because he's so darn quick um did you grow up a baltimore fan or who were you a fan of growing up i was a fan of the uh new york giants so i grew up looking at eli manny victor cruz plecto birds you know plecto from where i'm from you know all that. so yeah I'm a, I'm a big giant fan you know i if they if they hit, take a chance on me i'd be That'd be the greatest day of my life, man. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I mean, that would definitely be awesome for you. I mean, um, to to be in the same building that was built by guys like, you know, Michael Strahan. Right. Um, and just kind of being mentioned in that same sentence is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. unreal. Um, be honest with you though, I don't know if we could still remain friends if you end up uh, you know, there playing for the Giants, ah. but um it's all good but uh but but no um I, you know definitely would be you know great to you know get in in the league but um uh, let's just kind of reflect a little bit during your time i mean again uh good week at the legacy bowl uh you know good time at uh alabama state and also at maryland developing yourself into the prospect that you are um when you look back at all those games give me at least one of your best highlights uh, walk me through one of those moments, if you don't mind. At Alabama State? Sure. Best one. Oh, best one. Okay. 
Texas Southern last season. Uh, we played them at Texas Southern. It's like uh, I think it's fourteen seventeen. We on defense, you know. Uh, I shoot the gap, you know. I get the fumble. I cause a fumble. I cause a fumble on the play. But then I not on not only cause it, I recover it too. And then I set set our offense up to score the game with the touchdown. So I would say that was my uh my best my best memory, like my best highlight, you know. Well, heck yeah, man. I mean, causing causing a turnover and you know, very pivotal, you know, point in the game and uh setting your your guys up to uh you know score score the game winning point. So um Hey, I was just kind of thinking there. I mean, obviously with you, um, you know, probably not being on offense since being in high school. Has it been a while since you've scored any points yourself? It's been a while since high school. <laughs> since, since high school, school man. Since high school, you know. So, I thought it was gonna give me. I thought I was gonna get a package at Alabama State, and it ain't too much happened. But you know, so, <laughs> so what? So what you got to do is you have to make a plan, so that the moment that you do get a chance to scoop that ball up and get to the end zone, right. um, you got to make some sort of plan as to how you're gonna celebrate. Um, yeah. I, most people was telling me to do my backflip. You know. <laughs> no, that's a flag. That's that'll be crazy though if I did. The can you can you do a backflip? Huh? Is that you said you could do a backflip? I could do multiple backflips. You didn't see it? No, man, for real. You you're not joking with me? I'm not joking. <laughs> well, that that'll be something I'm gonna have to look up after I get get done with <laughs> this uh interview. So Oh yeah, um, definitely. I actually did one at the Legacy Bowl out for all the scouts. They was there <laughs> watching. That's just insane. Well, I mean yeah. uh, Brandon, other than you being this uh, you know, silly gymnast uh, what else we got to know about you man i mean tell me something that's not football related that you feel people really need to know about you uh i spent most of my day i spent most of my day watching anime so what anime i'm not working or training is anime so what anime uh anime are we uh watching these days are you um, one piece 1200 episode one piece 1200 episodes Cool. Um, so you've been a big anime fan for quite some time or what? I've been, a, uh, yeah, quite some time. Uh, when I first got to Maryland, uh, Chig, uh, his name, uh, my teammate named Chig, he had actually uh, put me on to, <laughs> he had like introduced me to anime. I was like, I was like, this is actually really, really good, you know, and it teach you life lessons, you know, and you'd be entertained, you know, it's the graphics is crazy, you know. You definitely be entertained. You can sit there and watch it, you know. If you ain't got nothing else to do, I I watch it every day. You know, it it keeps me. I mean, it, it would I would say it would keep me out. It keeps me out of trouble, but I don't do nothing. No way. I don't. I don't do too much. <laughs> I work and train, so that's like my next thing after work and train anime. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, I was sitting here thinking, you know, if if you um. Uh, you obviously have the ability to take the game of football and maybe do something with it that's not football related, if, right. you, if you feel me. So um, what have, if any, have you thought about um, what you might use football as a platform for? Like, have you thought about like what you might use that for, like uh, given the opportunity? What do you mean, if, if football, like... Like, uh, you know, charitable organizations, you know? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely all, I'm, I, I'm definitely interested in all that stuff, you know? It would just be something, it would be something that I have to, I have to do when the time comes. But I'm definitely interested in all that stuff, you know? Okay. What else, <laughs> you, you, what else are you interested in? You interested in anything else? Oh. Uh, in food? Uh <laughs> Of course. Well, uh, well, g- give me, um, give me your favorite meal then, since we're th- since we're there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a sushi guy. I love sushi, man. I love sushi. Then steak is sick. So steak and <laughs> so steak and sushi, pretty much it. So pretty, pretty much. And I, I eat wings and stuff. You know, I love some, I love some sushi though. Sushi's my go-to for sure. All right. Well, that <laughs> sounds that sounds good. Um. Uh, Brandon, it's been fun kind of getting to know you and your story. Um, I know you, um, 
have already taken care of things with your pro day. You're just kind of sitting back waiting to see what's going to uh, happen. I mean, um, I mean, of course, um, you know, we got the draft and then afterwards, I mean, people are going to be getting calls, calls from guys um, and hopefully get, you'll be getting an opportunity in one right. way, shape or form. Um, I know you talked to a handful of scouts at the legacy bowl, but Go ahead and talk to the rest of them right now. Tell them why they need to take a chance on you and bring you into their uh, their team. So uh, give us that. Uh, scouts should definitely take me on, on a team. Uh, one, I can compete. Two, I'm a good teammate, good person on and off the field. Don't get in no trouble. Uh, I lift my guys up, you know, you know, but I keep it real, you know. You know, you, it's, this is a man's game, you know, it's either you got it or you don't, you know, but I, if you don't got it, I will let you know, like in an encouraged way, encouraging way, but you know, but far as, as far as the teams, I, I feel like I can come in, be a, I'm a, I'm a great listener. I love to learn. I think, I think it's definitely more for me to learn as me being this new on D line, you know, I, I, I think it's a little bit more that I can definitely get better in my game at, you know, cause I'm, I could still say I'm raw at the defensive line stuff, you know? So I think I I still can get better. Still, I can make somebody organization, organization real real good, you know? I definitely, I think, I, def, I definitely, I think I'm a gym hitting in the, hitting in the rough though, for sure. I, def, yeah. I definitely think. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I, like you said, I mean, uh, I mean, I didn't necessarily want to say it. I mean, but you're, you are still growing in the position. I mean, um, you were mostly offense for for the majority of your life, you know, yeah. um, and, and so um, you've taken the time over the last five or so years um, mm -hmm. growing into the defensive tackle that you are learning the system, being able to play at all the positions on the D line. Um, and so you could plug and play in, in, into a lot of different schemes, which I do feel right. like that's uh, one big thing you got going for you as a player. So, and of course, being a likable teammate um, who uh, people would want to have in their locker room certainly helps too. So, for sure. Um, for sure. But, uh, Brandon, wish you very best of luck in this process. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm glad you had me, man. Thank you. I love you. No Thanks. problem. Once again, Brandon Gaddy, defensive lineman out of Alabama State. Uh, check this guy out. Yes, thank you for having me, man.